Hello guys, Winston here. I released my Hex Nut Slingshot construction video today, but I also wanted to add a second, more technical video about a simple technique I should have been using a lot more in my CNC adventures. For a lot of my smaller projects, I like to use a combination of Inkscape and MakerCam in my workflow. The GUI options make it very easy to use, but for over a month I never touched one of the most useful tools available in MakerCam, tabs. Many of you who are more CNC proficient than I am have probably been doing this for ages, but for those of you just starting out in machining, here's what tabs or supports do. When you mill something out on a CNC, what often happens when the object separates from its stock material is that it rattles around on the inside of the cutout. On convex shapes, this usually isn't a problem, but sometimes the cutter can snag your workpiece and rip a chunk out of it. Clearly not a desirable thing. So to avoid having this happen, you can use tabs to keep your workpiece locked down until you're ready to remove it. Here's how to get started using them. First off, we need a part to mill. Let's revisit the simple work holding clamps I made in my fourth video. Import the SVG into MakerCam, and once there, we can run a profile operation around the shape using a 1 8 inch end mill, cutting to a depth of 0.2 inches, blah 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 blah. Calculate that out, and you'll see the path your CNC will follow. Select that path, and don't worry if you also highlight the edge of your part. Go to the Cam menu and hit Add Tabs to select it. The tabs in MakerCam don't seem to take into account the diameter of your cutter, so you'll want to adjust the indicated width of your tabs accordingly. If, for example, you said you wanted tabs that were a quarter of an inch wide, the resulting tabs would actually have a width of one eighth of an inch. You lose the equivalent of your cutter diameter from this figure, so plan accordingly. On anything larger than a post-it note, I generally like to have at least three tabs securing my milled object. So let's see how this looks on the Shapeoko. So, as you can see, adding tabs to a project is super easy and doesn't add very much time to your workflow. A few extra mouse clicks and some sandpaper are a small price to pay to prevent separation anxiety. That's it for today, I hope this short video helps some of you out there. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys with another project in a week or two. Or three.